Well, today's quite an exciting day. I'm going to have a chance to ride a very interesting bike. I'm not really a sports bike rider. I mean, day in, day out, I ride a, uh, a Triumph Rocket 3. Big, lardy thing with loads of power, which I love. Um, although, I, for 10 years, I did, I did ride a uh, Hayabusa. But that's a bit more of a long, low, mental, fast bike rather than a sports bike. Um, but today... I'm going to be riding 60 odd thousand pounds worth of Ducati Super Leggera. There she or he is. Now it's not my bike, <laughs> I've borrowed it, and it's just got past, well, just about to uh, get up to its first service interval. So it's only done a few hundred miles. I'm hoping the weather is going to brighten up. It's supposed to do. I'm going to take it out for a ride. But there it is, in all its glory. Ducati's lightest, most powerful road bike. I say road bike, it's more of a, a, a track bike with a registration plate on it. So let's have a look at the features. It's got a uh, carbon fibre everything, tail unit, frame, hugger, comb, heat guard. It apparently gets very hot when you're riding it because those exhausts are so close and because the engine's right on, right between your knackers. Um, swinging arm, wheels. This is the Akrapovic titanium road can. It comes with uh, a race can as well. Which it really, I think, needs because it's uh, quite muted. It needs to let let the engine free. That nice pop, pop, and burble. Uh, it's got a absolute top of the range Olin's TTX titanium uh, rear shock. Brembo discs, the radial discs. I don't know what model they are. I'm sure they're uh, again made out of. Daft materials like unobtainium. And look at the milling on that uh, bottom fork. That is just glorious. Carbon fibre mudguard. <coughs> GPS tracker comes as standard. And I'm going to start it up. just a thing of beauty and the engineering on it is just staggering in fact there if you look and there, that's got the name of the person who did the Desmodronic, Desmodronic camshaft timing it was handset by Luigi Hlugendubluf in uh, Bologna and interestingly when you buy one of these you get a free track day riding one around Magello which is pretty nice. So let's start it up. I'm going to put the phone down. I'm going to pause it for a second. You can see the noise is quite muted. In fact, you get quite a lot of noise from the engine. Enough of that. It desperately needs those pipes on. So I'm now going to take it over a ride and I'll pull over halfway round and let you know what it's like. Lucky me. Wow. I'm now going to taste of what those world superbike boys put themselves through while they spend their lives in the gym. That thing is a missile. Whew. It is it is so solid. Solid as an absolute rock. Going round bends, you can just hang off it and it just, whatever the road surface is like, it just absorbs it and it's smooth, solid. You just totally feel like you can trust it. And uh, I mean, it's just got so much power. It really is phenomenal. They're quick shifter up and down, 
and what 250 horsepower on top 250 215 horsepower on top top with these standard cans on it uh, it absolutely flies yeah and when you're braking for a bend you've got to cling on for dear life there's so much braking power I mean below 3,000 revs there's nothing really it just uh, it pops and bangs and splutters a bit, but I believe that's because of uh, uh, Euro 4 compliant rules. It's just in between two and 3,000 revs now, so the fueling's not quite right. But keep it above above that, 3,500 plus, and it's smooth, and it just fires through the gearbox, and just as well as it actually looks. It's uh, stunning, stunning. And the whole thing is just so stable under power, it really does, you can have off it on straight lines, going over bumpy roads, it just completely, it'll just stick to the road like glue. It's marvellous. All down to those shock absorbers, I guess. What are they? Olin's TTX Titaniums. And they, uh, they really give it some great control. You can just feel it working like crazy, damping out all the bumps. I mean, it's such a smooth ride, even on bumpy British roads. Um, and I can only imagine it's going to really start to work properly when it's on the track. And I'll tell you something else, Ducati have done a really good job with those silencers. They're, uh, these are the, uh, I mean they're pretty shit hot, the Akropovich titaniums. These ones, I mean they hardly cut down power at all, I can't, I can't imagine. They're supposed to be 215 I think with these street cans on. Uh, they're Euro 4 compliant so they must have some massive baffles in them. And, uh, and it's only five horsepower less than the race cans. They've done a cracking job. It's a massive old system, a lot of metal in that. Even the cows are coming for a look. Everybody likes a Ducati. Ooh. So it's a staggering bike. I mean, you just get, you just know that it's so much better than you are when you're riding it. It's just <coughs> completely poised. When I'm going to a bend thinking, oh, this is just poised, it's just like, no problem. Wonderful. Right, onwards.